कॉमन परसेप्शन अमंग द पब्लिक इज दैट किसी और कुछ नहीं मिलता है बिल्डर को सब कुछ मिलता है ये परसेप्शन बिल्डर लोग भी उसके लिए क्लियर किया हुआ है सो आई डोंट ब्लेम दे इट्स आवर फैटर्निटी ओनली हु हैज क्रिएटेड अ सम काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट ओरा बिकॉज़ आई ऑलवेज टेल रियल एस्टेट इज अ ओपन सीक्रेट सो Everybody says there are a lot of secrets, but everybody knows their secret. Everybody knows कि ये हो रहा है. Everybody is an architect at home. Everybody is a lawyer at home. So in all my pitches in real estate, it's like कि you know everything. It's a joint venture. Whatever you decide, target the project to complete in three years, five years, whatever your cash flow has here, and you have to finish it. If it goes beyond one year, two years, it is hundred percent sure you are going to make loss in the future because prices are not going to go up. There is so much of supply lines. We did. Our listing and we raised around 25 crores as an equity on a SME platform, which was we were also surprised that we got that money. That really created a good, credible uh, company in terms of lenders. In today's episode of the Real Deal, we are talking to a listed developer. It's an entity, a little known entity called the Summit Works. that has developed a strong record in the western suburbs of mumbai to talk to us about uh, the company is the manager himself bhushan memlekar uh, of sabat words bhushan welcome on the show thank you vishal for having me on the show so bhushan uh, you got into this business uh, as someone whose family was already there yes uh, what was it that interested you about real estate that made you enter this business was it just that papa ne bola ki karna hai yeah you had a desire to get into space so i uh, just i did my commerce graduation and started pursuing ca it was a lot of my friends were doing ca i cleared my inter ca examination first attempt so i thought i was a intelligent student then tried to go to the final final eight or attempts could not clear then i was little skeptical a lot of people a lot of my friends got ca went to us for their high studies or for their careers So as a normal kid I was confused what to do so my dad being in the family business so that told me why don't you try real estate or why don't because we have if you don't like for 6 8 months then you can try choose whatever you want and it's nothing compulsory whatever you feel you don't so I thought like see in this is also I, because I used to see my dad working at it and breakfast talks used to happen ke the aaj ye hua aaj ye plot liya aaj ये डील किया है जो भी रियल एस्टेट के रिलेटेड न्यूसेस तो सुनता था सो आई टू गो देन आई टोल्ड माई डैड आई वॉन्ट टू डू सेल्स लेट्स आई वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ सेल्स हैपन सिटी एट दिस ट्रिक सो देन दैट टाइम वी हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड अ प्रोजेक्ट इन बोरोबी एरिया इन चिकोवाड़ी एंड दैट टाइम द प्रोजेक्ट वॉज एट इनिशियल स्टेज वी आर जस्ट लॉन्च द प्रोजेक्ट अ सेवन स्टोरी बिल्डिंग एंड दैट टोल्ड मी ओके यू वॉन्ट सिट ऑन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड Whenever the customer comes, you interact with them. So that used to happen. So the whole day, some day, there used to be nobody who is visiting. So I used to just sit there and just chai. That used to be tapri chai or contract talk. Say, which was there. In Saturday, Sunday, brokers used to come or some walk-in used to come. That time, marketing was not as we do in the kind of current things. So to give you this, I took more than seven months to do my first sale, a residential flat of. One BHK to be sold, and I must have met more than thirty, twenty-five, thirty people, more than twenty-five, thirty brokers, to get a first check of fifty-one thousand rupees as a token. So I took seven, seven and a half. So that time we sold that apartment for one thousand five hundred rupees per square feet. So that time because it was very developing area, the roads and infrastructure was not developed, or whatever the market rate was, uh, and uh, we were also quite new in that area. So all these things do you know that? And now, Borodi has become more income. So it's like a, we do a lot of projects at Borodi. What did those seven months uh, teach you? Uh, those first sale, what did you learn? One thing I learned was that customer knows everything. Yeah, customer. Whenever customer comes to me, he researches a lot of projects, and then he comes to me and asks me the question about my project. Then he'll ask me positives and negatives about my competitors. What's happening? What's not happening? About the amenities, whatever the the checklist that they have, then they see how the completion is there, how the work is going on. And here it is one thing: people will not trust you till they don't see the progress of the work. Is the customer who who has bought that time 
I must have interacted with him for four months. So he saw some progress in the project. Okay. Yeah, first lab ho gaya hai. Abhi second lab ho gaya hai. Okay, I met him two months back. Then it was okay, this level. Now it has come to a next level. So that confidence has to be given to the customer. First project, uh, like you said, seven months. Uh, or six. For six. Yeah. Uh, this was in which year? In 2001. 2000. Correct. 2001. It's 2023. Yeah. Today. In these 22 years, uh, how many projects have you looked at uh, closely, uh, which you have managed, and uh, which have been the key markets you are focused on? So in 2001 to 2005, I used to manage only one project because I did to understand how the construction works, how the approval process works, how the licensing works, how a civil contractor works, because I'm not from a civil background, from a commerce background. Then sales happens. How do you fund that time, fund the project? Used to be investors in line. Banking was not available so easy. After 2005, being the second generation, and with the support of the my father and my partner, promoter, we started expanding to new geographies. So from Borubi, we expanded to Parade, we expanded to Mile Parling, we expanded to up to Virar. And then slowly, slowly, we started expanding to MMR region. And then doing overall, looking at the projects at overall level, from starting acquiring the land, how do you start acquiring land, how do you start doing joint ventures, because we are more like an asset line model, we don't buy out lands. So we do a lot of joint ventures with the landowners. And then after 2007, eight redevelopment picked up a lot, where people started, the policies came off, TDR policies and all. So we started redevelopment in Borupi. The first redevelopment project happened in Borupi. And slowly, slowly, in last, if you give a gist, I must have done more than at least 35 projects in last year. When I, where I was involved at different, different scales, where there are few projects redevelopment, smallest as 18 apartments to up to more than 1000 apartments in a project in Virar, which we have delivered on time. After you said 2007-2008 is when you have redevelopment uh, as a segment, both of the cup from the reserves. Uh, the environment shape in them. What is the biggest challenge in redevelopment? In your opinion. The biggest challenge in any society for or any uh, owner or any landlord going for a project in redevelopment or a joint venture with a developer has to be the trust, the honesty that you keep on the table. Because I always tell real estate is an open secret. So everybody says there are a lot of secrets but everybody knows their secret. Everybody knows ki ye ho hai. Everybody is an architect at home. Everybody is a lawyer at home. So in all my pictures in three developments, ki you know everything. It's a joint venture. If I be very honest and clear with you, it will be more easier for me to transact with you. Giving a, taking an old key of a person, of his house, and delivering a new key of his new house is that three years of transition that happens emotionally, socially, because he has to shift to some place. His school gets affected, kids. His medical, if it is a mother, father, medical geographies get changed. There's so many things that get changed. It's only not economic. It's a complete socio-economical change that happens. We come to that with 2023, the pre-development era. But 2007, 2008 uh, mm. was a uh, big enough brand for societies uh, to look at you as a redevelopment contender and to uh, a home buyer. How did you give you so much? You have to buy apartments for the apartment. Brand, that time, the concept was not going to be done. So, how did you do it? Both So, on the redevelopment part, blessing in disguise because the big players used to not do redevelopment. Thanks. So, who does the redevelopment? Who does the redevelopment? The small ones. The small ones? Who cannot buy a land? will go for redevelopment because he cannot put a big capital in this. So that helped us because we got few first few redevelopments quite uh, it should be presentation happened, everything happened, but they there was no much competition. What is happening today in 2020? So that helped us and we see to it that whatever we promised we delivered before today. So we did in even 2008 we did one redevelopment per year, which was only 16 members would have been finished in one half year, two years. So that got us five plots in per year. Looking at that one plot, 
because it is uh, because that tenants are so happy to see that within 18 months you have completed and i am coming to my new house again from a 200 square feet i am getting 300 or 400 square feet so that got us three projects so that word of mouth from a person who is seen the benefit of redevelopment there is no marketing beyond so seeing this brief ek baar is dekh liya ek brief yes wo that's for the society yes. member disrupt of building up with you home buyer ke liye what was the journey like you said 2007 months for your first trip in 2008 did that experience change did or experience change we started doing project we had some few team then there used to be only two people in sales then we had five people in sales then people used to realize go to our projects which we have completed talk to that home buyers ki apne project liya ya then in 2007 8 we tied up with hdfc icc bank side institution because that time if you know the housing interest rate were at quite historic low and that helped us to get a lot of buyers home buyers at home buyers as a dna uh, for a company customer is key he has to be उसका सर्विस उसका एग्रीमेंट टाइम पे होना चाहिए उसका जो पेमेंट शेड्यूल होता है वो फ्लेक्सिबल होना चाहिए बिकॉज दे आर मोस्टली वर्किंग कैटेगरी पीपल दे फील दैट ई एम आई शुड स्टार्ट नॉट और इंटरेस्ट शुड नॉट गेट हर्ली गेट सो दैट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी वी क्रिएटेड इन आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फ्रॉम द बिग एंड दैट हेल्प अस टू गेट द कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ होम बैक्स वाइट सो जस्ट आई कैन बी ऑन रिकॉर्ड ऑन दिस की वी डोंट हैव एनी कंप्लेन ऑफ एनी होम बायर विद इन सो मच इयर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री and that has given and now more than 5500 home buyers are there strong family so they are our biggest marketers so whenever a new project comes we send invitations to them and with their reference their friends their family members who are maybe interested in that locality and that geography they they are our first buyers how is the real estate landscape changed this is outside of sudhir but that time how was the environment uh, uh, was it what is today And developers, even today, most people don't like to use the word developer because they think it's like a sophisticated. They call them builders. But builders, who come on, today, we see that more and more people are joining. At that time, or we the worst was that. How is the process to build confidence? See, I tell you, challenges are there. Each five years, we have new sets of challenges, new uh, type of challenges that come in redevelopment. What has happened in last ten years is institutionalization of real estate now has. drastically go so lot of developers have become professionals lot of corporates have come into real estate as a business model and uh, banks have also started recognizing this as a business industry okay we can fund developers earlier banks used to be very reluctant to they are more happy to fund home buyers but they are related to fund who make homes for home buyers so that that becomes sometimes a uh, challenging but in last uh, 10 years i think they have done for better the gone for better i see challenges are there there will be challenges in future nobody expects that business will not have challenges there will be ups and downs but you have now institutions and i think government introducing rela is the is the game changer for a real estate industry what maybe sebi did for a stock market in 1993 and 1994 regularizing Rera is going to be the next game changer for a real estate industry where everybody can come under one umbrella. Do you think uh, many uh, developers they have the complaint of lack of capital, lack of avenues, uh, not enough trust and respect from financial institutions? What was your first experience when you approached a bank to raise capital? We are going back fifteen years. Yeah, my first uh, capital was from Sarasam Bank. Property bank, and uh, we were in the industry for twenty years because my dad, ten years back, we were more than twenty years old company. We had done a lot of projects, so the manager there was quite proactive. That you are a good company, you have a account with us for last twenty years. We have seen your track that you have a. We never seen any issues with your account, no check uh, bouncing thing, whatever. So he said, "Why don't you take loan for your projects?" Simple was. हमको कोई देता ही सो लोन देगा तो लेगा ना सो दैट वाज द थिंग इन आई विल गिव यू सो दैट वाज द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच वी स्टार्टेड देन वी गिव आवर बैलेंस शीट फॉर द फर्स्ट 3 इयर्स एंड देन व्हाट एवर द एनालिसिस करे जा रहे हैं एंड फर्स्ट 5 करोड़ लोन दैट वी टुक वाज इन 2007 आई थिंक फॉर अ प्रोजेक्ट योर टारगेट ऑडियंस 
how will you describe your target audience? Aapka target buyer kaun hai ya you're across multiple segments like Loda and Godrej? No, the Yoda and Godrej are very different. We are looking for an upper middle class audience. Right now what we are doing or next five years what we plan to do where they want to buy a 2 BHK or a 3 BHK. Our maximum product is 2 and 3 BHK. In terms of 60% 2 BHK, 40% 3 BHK is home now. Our aspiration who want to upgrade, who want to upgrade their lifestyle, who want to shift to a better houses, who want better amenities, who want to better locations. So there are so many factors and they can afford a housing loan of crore rupees and they have some savings so they buy an apartment of two. So that's the target audience we look at. And how do you decide which sort of locations to build in, uh, what sort of plots to get? You said you started, you spread across the Mumbai metropolitan region. How do you decide which area to see and which area to see? In the real estate, everybody says location, 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 right? That's the most difficult part to decide ki which location and how to take a call because all developers have that thing. But what we see, every location has its own kind of uh, people. So we have done something in Baikala, just opposite Baikala station. And we never imagined that 40 apartment we could sell in three months. Because there was a vacuum in that, there was no new buildings. If you go to that area, you feel like this is building, so we could sell in building. So we could sell faster. But the other way around, where there are greenfield projects, there are competition, there are 10 developers. So to find a buyer becomes sometimes difficult. This would ensure that I, I got it right. You said in Baikala, in three months you sold the entire building, 40 apartments. 30, 35, well, the majority, 70%. We, were not, we got a very positive response there. That was in 2012-13. So, so if you have to select a location, do a micromanagement of the location, what's the potential, what buyer wants, there are a lot of inherent demands in certain locations. In redevelopment, the biggest challenge developers, builders tell me is that in dealing with society owners, so many of them, so building 30 apartments, 30 apartments, convincing all of them is a big challenge. Is that something which you have faced or in a large way? If so, how do you handle getting so many people together? No, no, it's always a challenge. And uh, people to leave their house, own house, which they have stayed for maybe 35 years, 50 years, it's very emotionally taxing for them. It's not about paying rent, paying corpus, or getting some 40% additional, 20% additional area. It's get out of the house for three years or four years and then come back and do that. How do I trust this new connection? His presentation is very good. He looks very good, or he has, or he has a good track record. So how do I trust? So to create that trust factor, now you need to understand what they, want. what is their psychology. Can I give that kind of service to them? I'll give an example which in Sumit Atulia, where sixty percent in the other sixty percent members were more than 70, 75. To sign only one agreement, that person or gentleman or the lady will take one one hour. So take take that lady or the gentleman to the registration office, do her triple P agreements, get her back, provide her a support to take her house stuff wherever she's shifting. Because the next generation is not here. Maybe they are abroad or somewhere else, they are in their own world. So they don't get time day to day basis. So provide that kind of support system. It's like a developing an ecosystem. So we have a team for that. We understand what they want. Second, Tell them honestly that this is possible and then you have to say no also where you can come and say, No, sir, if you give me Italian marble, then I will do it. I will have to say, sir, I will not give it. I will give it in the project, but in the long term, because I have to give you a home for three years. So wherever it is possible, you have to say no. Has it ever happened that you have taken a project, gone to advanced stage, but there is no dispute in the tenants. This way, say the building cannot be demolished, it cannot be created, but then your meter has begun. Has it ever happened with you, or you do it after everything is clear? No, it has happened. So, a small example I'll give in Matunga only, we started a project, 28 tenants, 27 tenants vacated, and at the end, the 28th one had a dispute with two brothers, internal dispute, and 
वो तुम्हारा है या मेरा है ऐसा वॉट एवर लाइक ऐसी इशू एंड देन देन वेंट टू एंड टू कस द पार्टी एंड आवर रेंट स्टार्टेड सो वी कुड नॉट डिमोलिश द बिल्डिंग इट टुक अस 7 मंथ्स टू गेट द ऑर्डर दैट ओके वी हैव टू गो फॉर रिटर्न बट देन एज अ बिजनेसमैन और एज अ एंटरप्रेन्योर और एज अ बिल्डर यू हैव टू एंटिसिपेट दैट यू हैव टू कुशन दैट इन योर फाइनेंशियल रिस्क अगर वो आप कर सकते हो तो यू आर सक्सेसफुल अगर आप बोलेंगे नहीं इमीजिएटली मेरे को करना है अगर वो बैंडविथ आपके पास नहीं है तो देन डोंट स्टार्ट अप प्रोजेक्ट आपको वो क्योंकि रिस्क फैक्टर्स विल कम बिकॉज ये आने वाला वक्त फिर सेवन मंथ्स के बाद एट दैट वी हैड टू वेकेट देम कोर्ट ऑफ दी ऑफ द ऑर्डर दे हैड टू बी वेकेट बट वी हैड टू देन सेवन मंथ्स के बाद डिमोलिशन स्टार्ट हुआ सो इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीटिंग इन थ्री मंथ्स आई टू थ्री मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स प्लस सेवन बिकॉज दैट टाइम लॉस्ट and then there are so many factors you have to start before monsoon after monsoon so all that factors also so there are challenges but whatever we have started we have completed the project and all 28 members i would be happy that all the 27 members were supporting us in the core my advocate used to come and all 27 members used to come to support that our goal should not get stuck how has been the sort of uh, margins for a player like you ek perception hai कि बिल्डर बहुत पैसा होता है एक परसेंट परसेप्शन है एनालिस्ट का जो लिस्टेड कंपनी देखता है वो प्रॉफिट ज्यादा है ही नहीं व्हिच इज ट्रू बोथ आर नॉट ट्रू सो टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट कि बिल्डर नाउ इट्स नॉट पहले इन्फ्लेशन होता Target the project to complete in three years, five years, whatever your cash flow as you, and you will have to finish it. If it goes beyond one year, two years, it is hundred percent sure you are going to make loss in the project because prices are not going to go up. There is so much of supply that is happening. You have to be competitive to the market. You cannot be just because you are some and you will get some X price. That is not going to happen. You have to be competitive. You have to be fast. You have to execute fast and complete the project on time. And the बिल्डर बहुत कमाता है वो तो इट्स लाइक बिरबल की खिचड़ी है वो कभी वो पत्ती रहती है होता ही है क्योंकि जो कॉमन परसेप्शन अमंग द पब्लिक इज दैट किसी और कुछ नहीं मिलता है बिल्डर को सब कुछ मिलता है ये 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 परसेप्शन बिल्डर को भी बिल्कुल ही क्लियर किया हुआ है सो आई डोंट ब्लेम देम इट्स आवर फैटर्निटी ओनली हु हैज क्रिएटेड अ सम काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट ओरा ऑफ बिल्डर और अ डेवलपर इट्स एकदम शो थोड़ा करता है गाड़ी लेके मर्सिडीज लेके आएगा तो अच्छा लगेगा ओल्ड डेज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सो व्हाई व्हाई डू थिंक डेवलपर टिक दैट कैन कैन यू ऑफ कोर्स दैट टाइम द टाइप ऑफ डेवलपर्स हु वाज लीडिंग द रेस मेनी ऑफ देम टुडे आर नॉट इन द मार्केट ओनली बट दे क्रिएटेड अ परसेप्शन दैट इज स्टिल लिंगर्ड फॉर द इंडस्ट्री व्हाई डू यू थिंक डेवलपर टिक दैट टाइम मैं ऑलवेज से ना डेवलपर के लिए एजुकेशन का जरूरत नहीं है एनीबॉडी कैन गेट दिस तो आर्किटेक्ट के लिए कुछ पांच फाइव इयर्स प्रोग्राम करना पड़ता है सिविल इंजीनियर के लिए फोर इयर्स प्रोग्राम करना पड़ता है आपको चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट वाला पड़ेगा तो चार बिल्डर तो आपको खाली कार्ड प्रिंट करना पड़ता है अभी आपका जो जोग्राफिकल स्प्रेड है काफी वाइड है अगर आपका इंस्ट्रक्टर बाइक हाउ डिफरेंट आर कस्टमर इन जिन ईच मार्केट इज इट अ वेरी डिफरेंट ऑडियंस या ब्रॉडली अ होम बायर इन मुंबई मेट्रोपोलिटन रीजन इज पटी मत से पर होम बायर एंड मुंबई मेट्रोपोलिटन रीजन इज सेम इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर एक्सपेक्टेशंस आर सेम बट द फाइनेंशियल थॉट प्रोसेस द गेटिंग पोजीशन ऑन टाइम और गेटिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट ऑन टाइम इज वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट फॉर अ कस्टमर हु इज इन विरार एंड इज इवन इफ दैट 25 ऑफ 50000 रुपीस इंक्रीज इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट हिज इज नॉट गोइंग टू डाइजेस्ट इट और हिज वन ईएमआई गेटिंग हियर देयर इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी डाइजेस्ट इट बिकॉज़ ही इज इनटू दैट काइंड ऑफ somewhere in the cities that cushion is there for a home buyer who has a some savvy but they have everybody has the same challenge mera position time pe milega that's the word that across the geography maybe a 10 crore apartment or a 25 lakh rupees apartment ask the same question position time pe kora ch and where the rera has played a big role is that do you think that's a bit unfortunate that still in a market like mumbai where asset values are so high the dominant question in a person's mind is forget the quality mm-hmm. forget what you're getting mujhe ghar milega ki nahi is that does it say something very poorly about how the state is about i think pre 2012 13 that was a challenge because the rules and regulations were 
very different for different people. So that used to be the key. So then it was a question of FSM maximization. जितना हुआ और बढ़ाते और बढ़ाते तो क्या वो प्रोडक्ट का एंड ही नहीं आता था प्रोजेक्ट इज नॉट कम्प्लीट नाउ नाउ लॉट ऑफ ड्रीम लाइन हैज हैपन गवर्नमेंट आल्सो रियलाइज एंड लॉट ऑफ दे आल्सो नो कि नाउ वी हैव टू सी द कंज्यूमर वी हैव टू सी द एंड कंज्यूमर ही हैज टू गेट हिज प्रोडक्ट ऑन टाइम एंड इट हैज चेंज इन लास्ट फाइव इयर्स इट हैज डेफिनेटली चेंज ड्रास्टिकली चेंज टुवर्ड्स इंप्रूव सो आपने कहा रेरा के बारे में वन इवेंट व्हिच आई टेंड टू थिंक gets a bit uh, unnoticed in popular imagination is 2012 the subodh kumar s yes. uh fsi maximization he in a way ended that yes uh do you think that was a landmark moment for mumbai real estate that tenure was very short yeah that was in terms of the uh, policy clarity from the government can we have to make our boundaries correct you cannot play beyond the boundary right so that that stand that the government took that time and lot of revolutionary policies were framed lot of people got hurt lot of people even we were affected because the business trend was something else and we had to change lot of gears in the business but we could change the gears very fast and move on to the track and lot of people could not change the gears could not just digest this kind of uh, got stuck in real estate partnership could last that long yeah I'm firstly surprised that the partnership was cut in for 35 years. Is there a secret sauce that two partners 35 years without too much of uh, uh, ups and downs? There has been some ups and downs. It's a difference of opinion. Obviously, it will happen. But at the end, what is the interest of the company or the interest of the project that has to override everything else? So our personal interest is always second, and the company's interest or the project interest is always at the top line. And we have been. Open, fair, with each other as a partner every time. Because this challenge is, so this reason is challenge, and this success is, so this reason is success. Do you have an example for that? Like, like a difference of opinion. Yeah, what is the difference? Yeah, difference of opinion. 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 Yeah, in the world people never fight for 99% of the things people fight for the 1% that is there last that's the difference of it and if you are ready to leave that 1 or 2% you will never fight it your father was a uh, was a top government official yeah he was in real estate yes, right yes which uh, was very good and then he retired from there and he started his uh, business with mitaram sir uh-huh. uh, government officers are notorious that एक बार कुर्सी मिली वहां पे बैठे रहेंगे योर फादर टू गवर्नमेंट रिटायरमेंट कड़ी and i am not getting their salary and what i am doing only on saturday or a saturday is getting me so so slowly slowly got into tune with the real estate and the studio real estate so with bonds is a listed company i don't know how many people know about that uh it's been under the radar for now uh what's it that makes a company at your scale uh get listed so in 2017 18 i i just finished my opm program from harvard and with uh, mitaram sir used to discuss ki kya karna chahiye kaise aage ho scale up karna chahiye we wanted to spread to different geographies and somehow we got into we met few people saying that aap listing kyun nahi kar rahe to na sir usse kya hoga sir aapko equity milega to first thought was that because we didn't want to raise capital and so we just deliberated and again thanks to they were because they are the promoters they started the business so it, it is his baby and now we have to be a listed space so answerable to lot of everybody right so they agreed we did our listing and we raised around 25 crores as an equity on a semi platform which was we were also surprised that we got that money and then that island of this crisis happened i think immediately so but think we were listed we pursued it we 
that made us very uh, accountable to everything our accounts team is up to date we get our records uh, numbers on time that helps us that really created a good credible uh, company in terms of lenders like those who were maybe uh, they find out so because of this time we have to be in a format we have to have all the disclosures and we have to keep the disclosure and there are huge uh, SAB or whatever they have huge penalties on that if you are not so that helped us that helps a lot in terms of getting good lenders on so in a so in, in a strange way raising equity has helped to the raising debt yes what what is the biggest difference in dealing with a lender versus an investor aapne kaha ki 25 crore lakh crore and get some uh what is the pitch you had to investors look at a couple next couple points subscribe i am guessing many of them would not have heard of heard of yes so what was your pitch that attracted them so by 2017 we had completed more than 45 projects by looking at the track record they were also surprised ki aapne itna project complete kar diya aur aap ekdam that time execute so the execution was day one in our एग्जीक्यूट करना है प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट होगा तो माल बिकेगा प्रोडक्ट विल बी सोल्ड बिकॉज दैट इज द एरा दैट वी वेर बिकॉज डिमांड यूज टू बी ऑलवेज हायर देन द सप्लाई सो वी रियलाइज की देयर इज अ ह्यूज रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ इफ वी कैन स्केल अप प्रॉपर्टी प्रोफेशनली एंड वी आर एबल टू डिलीवर वी हैव अ ह्यूज बिजनेस एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल सॉस हु हैव सीन अस आवर हिस्ट्री देन दे ट्रस्टेड अस सो दे जस्ट put their money with the company and i feel i'm i'm sure going forward next 5 to 10 years they will be happy with us uh ocean you are one of the few uh, breeders i know who has got a advanced education degree in a foreign uh, ivy league degree you studied at harvard in 2015 do all these educational courses really help you to navigate the field like real estate and especially something like real estate <laughs> honestly as a when i went to harvard i went into that perception that i am going to some harvard college and then you go there and then you realize the world is so wide there's so many things to learn and there's so many people from 100 countries you meet a lot of different people few from real estate background few from different industries how an entrepreneur should feel should work his challenges his Uh, composedness can you can you be calm in difficult situations that gives you that interaction that the case studies that you listen to or the stories that you listen there that makes you feel really humble you feel okay yeah we still have a lot to do in the world and so, then, so it basically helps create a more mac- macro level macro level. macro level your vision gets clear your thought processes get clear the ipo process to whether to move becomes professional it's like getting getting from first phase of your life to second phase because once you are listed you are listed so to get that to get that mental preparation i think harvard has played to that one of the big moments uh, in sobat put as a listed entity has come a few months back when you got a large uh, uh, in what high profile this you that it called shakka shak yes sir how did the experience go of getting a guy like him in your company uh he supposed to be um very forthright yeah uh, demanding investor yes and not not particularly known to invest in real estate mm. so why 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 did he pick you i think that answer he would be the right person to give why did why did he pick me but i think it, it is one of his first real estate listed investment i am not sure about it but uh, i just assume uh he sees positive nice in real estate maybe next few years I'm looking at the real, the india growth story he believes in india growth story and uh, there will be aligned right we are, i also believe that next 20 years is india's market and there where we can see the growth what were the questions he asked you before investing not of them not of them there were there questions on how you do the business how the product works what are the history and he did is He did as always do that. He is a world of knowledge in terms of his own. He because he invest across geographies, not only in India but maybe. So that that was there. I think he was very upfront. You have to see your business. If you are growing your business, you will get what you want, and you have to be honest to you. He is in a way I I get the feel when uh, 
I listened to Ashley Grover and Shark Tank mm-hmm. that Shankarishwar of Sharma would have probably made something similar to yes. if a Shark Tank was 15 years ago. What's the plan forward going for some of the books? Uh, how many projects do you have underway at this point? So we already have taken four development projects which are in different acquisition stages. Already three are in pipe, are under construction, two are at the advanced stage of completion. So we see a robust growth in terms of our revenues and things to going forward. In your view, who is the sort of developer you want to emulate? You said redevelopment, but you want to be a preferred partner. Uh, there are many players in redevelopment. Who is the one developer we look at say that I probably want to like I think there are a lot of developers. Very difficult to say if you take Dira Jitsar, what he did for Powain, I think it's remarkable thought process of creating the quality townships. And that what he is famous for. He doesn't he doesn't say with Kamal. If you say the Vikas Obera, what Obera has done for a community built things, being honest, upfront, focusing on the good landscaping, good community culture. So that is there. In terms of redevelopment, there are so many of them. It's uh, very difficult to take one or two names. Who would be the top three names that you think that this is sort of builder I thought I would be like or I can't be like? I think Vadva did a good job in terms of redevelopment. Five years back in terms of car but I used to be, I like the, the way he designs, the way he uh, executes the project, the quality project that he creates. So that can be uh, one of the two. So that's, that's what I'm looking at. Do you think, uh, since you mentioned uh, Vadwa and uh, it were a record, uh, probably made some of the more tasteful buildings of Mumbai. Do you think now in Mumbai we have come to the stage where all buildings pretty much look the same? I think regulations don't allow us to do that. That's the biggest key. Because the creativity and the regulations are like, but I think uh, as, a, as a city, we are going to get rejuvenated. And I will definitely see the regulations are going to be towards more how we can create more aesthetical looking buildings, more futuristic looking buildings. What we see, just not a tall pencil style structures, but a good quality structures. I think that will happen in next five years. Hafiz contract often claims that uh, most of the best looking buildings of the 420 for equal. Now all the buildings, yeah. like like you mentioned, regulations have played a role. Mm-hmm. Now all buildings pretty much the same. If everything looks the same, uh, the challenge is that uh, real estate becomes more a commodity than a product, and that has implications in multiple by, by, by ways. Do you agree with that? Actually, I don't agree with that because uh, real estate is a unique space where your product is going to play a very important role in how a customer is going to perceive it. It's just not structure that is looking at, is looking at the space that you are utilizing, is looking at what are you providing. Now work from home culture, is there a is there a space for that? A lot of people have made, is there a space for that? A lot of things, the newest thing that is happening nowadays, a lot of we have Swiggy's, we have Zomato's, we have Amazon's, every day there is a delivery. So are you going to give some kind of separate lift which will take your storage up and down. So there are so many things that we are looking at. We are not looking at parking things. In a lot of now big projects are 300 parkings, 500 parking things. Can you provide a washing service with the parkings? To be like that. So that's that's what people are looking at. That's what people, can you have a, a digital library? Can you have a place where I can have small meetings within the building? I don't have to travel with which Can a work become in a residence? Something like that. So there are, there are things that people are looking at. And or as a developer or as an entrepreneur, we have to look at something which is new to provide to the developer. So that product differentiation is going to play a key role. So the, so the world is moving more towards product, 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 quality? Yes. Then just a, just a location is becoming a product. Because location can be, but if you have a really nice product, that product is going to get a premium in, in that location. Okay. So that, that in a way is different from what is the uh, common perception that real estate is location, location, location. Now it's sort of changing. Yes, definitely. Location in terms of geographies. So every micro market has its own own kind of Mercedes and Marities. Yeah. So maybe a South Bombay, you know, 
maybe a neighbor zero or a bag my road will have a, a structure which is really nice new it's expensive and there is a structure where you get a reasonably priced product so you have both spectrums the same way can happen in bombay where there are some buildings which are commanding as good as uh, south bombay rates and there are standard buildings also so every every area has its own own rich and famous own middle class and own service so why do you think that has happened uh, until 15 years back south bombay was uh, had a price which was in multiples of other locations why do you think that change has happened in the real estate so there has been a business shift there has been a business shift in terms of uh, the culture the thought processes people don't go to nariman park maybe bkc has become a center business district but still there are small business districts there is a gorega there are people who want to stay in borobi they want to work in borobi they want to stay in borobi the business are in borobi. these seven cities mumbai was one seven islands yeah then within they when came together south mumbai like the nature was the prime turning point was the hub would you say that now nariman point and south mumbai uh, in a way it's finished or do you think they spoke for a rebound no there is definitely go for a rebound i fact i feel that the prices in the city are subdued compared to the suburb the suburb prices have gone up drastically compared to the city prices and now with the redevelopment taking the space or faster pace in the cities because of the rules that they have changed the tdr that is they have allowed in the cities so i think a lot of redevelopments have happened and once quality buildings start coming up again in the redevelopment of the new era i think a lot of people will have quality of this scene do you take a lot of holidays or oh, you got family holidays yes twice a year but holidays is needed to rejuvenate yourself to be more fresh more uh, coming back and double working the gear so holidays are there but these are short holidays long holidays like 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 can you go for a month on a holiday and leave the company to your team i am not on a holiday for a month but i have definitely i told you i have been to out for four weeks then i was not here but because we are a partners and we are so we see to it that either he is here if i go on a holiday if i am here because of holiday so the business doesn't get affected but i have a other way around if the business is going smoothly if we are less involved that means my team is doing something good so so that doesn't that reason i asked the question to figure out if going for a holiday uh, means that you have delegated adequately that the company can run on automated without you yeah that can be and because now you are on technology it's available on a phone call or what some that doesn't even if you are on holiday you have your everything done communications on so i think we have a good team and we are improving day by day to get to that point ki if i am out and i don't get any calls in a day that means i'm happy with things are going good not too many things on the consumer front uh home buyers have a tough time in deciding their purchase uh what should they look at what should they not look at um in your view uh what would be the three the top three factors uh by which a home buyer should decide his purchase kya kya dekhna chahiye in your view every consumer is different yeah yeah but broad three factors like normally uh when you want to buy an apartment you have to see the obviously they will see the requirement of the apartment see if they have kids then schooling thing if they are a joint family maybe a bigger house or if you are working from home concept then do you have that extra space so all these are product related what kind of product you are selling you are selling in a standard room building a double deck building second is a lot of people are looking at possessions which are next one year to year they don't wait for seven seven eight right years a lot of developers have that 2029 position the tier ones so i don't think so that is that is where the consumer is looking at because they fire the double like bureau pro but then looking at two years trail third key as a developer what kind of projects you have completed what kind of conception you have created in the market because you go to four brokers and he will tell every story about it in the market he is sky plus a sky a minus a whatever he has this story so you don't have to go to anywhere else two brokers and you know the whole geography or something so you have to be there you have to be available to your customer customer mm-hmm. expecting the response from you very fast he is going to send you an email that you are to expect to reply in 24 hours then even whatever is if we are doing something right or if you are not doing something right or it giving some issues 
the communication with my team with the customers is very key i want to give a small example of that we did a project in borrow with sumit garden athol there's a project name and uh, we started the project we had come on to a blink and we got a technical issue and the blink got lifted for by one minute or so two basements were already done whatever then we called the iits the vcts of the world they did all the research my rcc consultant to rcc consultant so they had some zero so though we had booked around 15 flats by that time they were totally eight eight apart in 15 flats the day this incident happened next day we wrote a mail to all the shifting buyers saying that we said such an incident has happened we are investigating for what technical reasons that has happened if you have any issues or any thought process with it we are welcome to meet you you come to office or we'll have a joint meeting and then after once all things after one month when everything was done we broke the whole structure again and did the out of that 15 people not even a single person said that i want to cancel the flight the project got delayed by 6 to 8 months within the era limit but they were saying okay we still trust you only thing that you don't increase any prices so no, that is obviously when we have committed we not but not even a single customer withdrew from the project saying that Sustains you happen, or my confidence is lost, or something else. So that was so a transparency has its reward. Yes, hundred percent. What do you think is the one thing at the product level in an apartment that a home buyer should look at that is not commonly looked at upon in day? क्या आपको देखना चाहिए कि जो final point होती है, सबको लगता है कि हर two BHK same रहता है, ठीक है? Size का थोड़ा variation है तो बन जाएगा, पर ज़्यादा तो same है. क्या एक वो चीज़ होनी चाहिए जो एक home buyer को देखनी चाहिए? लग्जरी something like that or you have a bedroom which is a like people say we want a bigger bedroom but bigger bedroom may if you the length is bigger it's good because then you can use your dining area you your dressing area your bed but if your bed is more instead of 11 feet you get 12 feet that is of no use because you're not going to use that bed you want to use just want a tv bed so looking at this kind of nuances planning plays very critical role in you know, a product so our uh, martin that And 1100 square feet carpet. If you see, you feel that it's a 13 or 14 square feet carpet. So, portion uh, out. Apartment size has gone down by about 22, 25 percent for the last decade. There uh, is some change after COVID. In your view, what is the minimum size of an apartment that home buyer should keep in mind when he's buying uh, an apartment in a particular region? I think uh, for a home buyer and for a good living, he have to have a 400 square feet plus. Usse niche any apartment is like very difficult to even for a small uh, family of two, just a husband and wife to stay. Na to hona chhi. But below that is going to be very difficult. We don't do any projects like that. Whereas as a company, we see that we believe that we should have new. Uh, for a two BHK, six fifty carpets, seven hundred carpets, with the proper planning, where you don't waste things, the length, width of the is very important. Because normally, what happens, the length is normally used well. The width goes waste, and in unnecessary ten by eleven, twelve feet, करके उसको area बना देते carpet. Obviously, the luxury has no limit. Can go beyond the point, but the utility wise, it finishes the same. If the apartment is below four hundred square feet. लुकिंग People looking at something little extra, one room extra, 
and that is what is in demand also so i don't i don't i want to tell the home buyers think ki see your budgets see your requirements maybe location you will have to shift if you are not affordable at to bhk in certain areas but certain you will go far maybe you will be able to afford it to bhk yeah. that would be a good investment in terms of their resellers otherwise what do you think after the sorties really crunched up on bhk to bhk do they hold up in value or do they they no hold up in the value because we are in a populous country but going forward i think the value creation will be very difficult for such kind of products for equity like so much books what do you say has been the toughest phase the things where basically you were that what you said ki mujhe shayad se real estate karna mein aane nahi chahiye waisa feel abhi tak kabhi aaya nahi hai but toughest phase i think uh, in 2000 i would say 16 17 18 the models happened gst ke trera ke like it was like 6 6 months 6 months to adjust to this thing so fast and we had a lot of projects on the floor and that thing at different different level. we had a exposure of 200 crores with the banks when the modernization happened la so as as an entrepreneur you have a thought ki abhi kya hone wala hai the police are going to get delayed yes chale rahe hain so what is the implication because the projects are in the half stage my already asin company have raised application so what i should put in there na what i should because all you knew but we again the resilience as a company we we always take adversity as an opportunity so usko hi humne opportunity banaya we completed all the 10 projects by 2019 20 so in covid also when the first covid wave happened one of my projects in sumit lata we got oc on the day when the national lockdown, lockdown was declared one day or two days just before that so we were we were anticipating that something can happen so you have to be proactive go get the things done we could not give the position because oc came and lockdown happened so 6 months the building was there with oc but we could not just give the position because nothing could happen uh, what you say is your biggest weakness as a professional in this sphere uh, developers uh, i have been pleasantly surprised to see many of them when i asked them they give me a whole laundry list <laughs> of weaknesses Uh, I earlier went to the police and I asked developers what's their weakness. They will say they have none. Yeah. No, no. Everybody has their own weaknesses. We uh, will have to learn to scale up fast. Yeah. That's what I feel, and that's what we are doing now. So that we are learning. I would not say weakness as it. It's it's a point where you have to evolve and do more faster things. Right. because technology is changing fast and i think real estate industry is the last industry to adopt technology if we are able to adopt technology we can be we can be china in next 20 years what if you by adopting technology what sort of terms of construction technology in terms of human resource technology getting your erp implementation done what's happened with it because they are getting such fabulous jobs and fabulous uh, salaries so as a as a real estate we are still evolving to that stage getting a good ci on board getting a good team on board spending money on it infrastructure it's for the improvement of productivity i'm not saying we have to do something rocket science but just if you i improve my productivity by 20% going forward is going to that means i'm increasing my revenue by 20% just with the same team same amount of people do you think that increases the speed of construction or we are right to almost at the peak of no mass construction i think we are we are at the we are at a starting point we are going to if the construction technology next 3 5 years going to change drastically we will see 50 story building can getting constructed in 2 to 3 yeah. i i'd assume in next 5 years we we see that so why do you say that what because there are so many technologies that are coming up we are upset with rcc now the steel structure technology is coming up where you can maybe just it's like a prefab how the you know you are doing your bridges everything is getting just so something like that is going to happen it's already happening it's not but it's not happening at a large scale because so some southern developers have yeah, tried so this thing and then it's going to happen because the technology is evolving would that also mean that uh, uh costing for a developer to become a lot more efficient costing for a developer not the confidence of a person who wants to go for redevelopment will be faster because his lead time is going to go down If instead of doing a 40-story building in four years, if I'm going to complete it in two and a half years, 
so he need time to come back to the new apartment is faster so the the because forest land is a raw material so it will be available first so then those days now yeah of era time like being 8 years 10 years and that you think will probably will stream for at least the permits yes i think it will it, it will evolve which is in your view the best building in mumbai forest area which is the one building where bushan would like to stay it's a very difficult answer but there are different different eras different different buildings i think said did a very good job with dumont when he constructed the building in prapa river the in terms of the space amenities there are lot of projects in south bombay we can take the name so eden park it, so is one of the good buildings at of that era so every era has its own uh, structures i like that kind of i i stay in suburbs i am i i love suburbs i am not a city person the project i stay over there square is um, the building and if you want a choice i want to stay in my building i would definitely stay in sumitlata right now where i am it's a small boutique project you know 700 square meter lot we have created lamps we have created a cafeteria we have created a small uh, individual gym so there are only 15 families so small small things Uh, we have given them certain utility areas, so all that they are enjoying. It. So we get the feedback. So such kind of projects, because the boutique apartments are going to come back in market. People want to don't want to be in the big densities. They want to be small. They want their houses to be big, but a small community where they can spend time. One trend I see among many projects is the parking is very inconvenient. <laughs> and this is across the board yeah. from a small developer or a small plot to even literally large developers in big towns one feedback i've heard about you is that you have a model of adopting ramps for buys how does that really help both of the costing as well as continuous service support you the costing wise i think it is on the little higher side we we'll have to spend 5 10% more on the costing part but in terms of home buyer if you are building as a rack where you don't have to use any mechanical things to take your car up and down or uh, this so that that gives such a comfort it's a so i just give an example a doctor he was very clear in my project that i am buying your flat only for the reason that you have a ramp because at 12 o'clock at 95 there is some emergency within two minutes i should be able to go so that was his logic of buying an apartment uh, we were 50% discount was on it led to a lot of revenues They have just copied MC. If I recall right from the budget proposal department of six X. Yes, but it also created something else. It created an environment where wherever you go in Mumbai, Jammu or other street, where they are not jungler, back, bandra ki road pe walk kara tha, count kara tha. In a 50 meter street pe, 14 buildings free level for it. Is that what possible? So, what can I say? From a positive side, people are going to get house at maybe a, a price. i would not say it is discount something but people will get at least choice to buy houses and they used to have two choices now we have maybe ten choices so you have you it's going to be a bias thing in borovi where we are doing there borovi was a 200 project which are going for it to the so people have a choice and that choice will help to get new people into city a lot of people will grow a lot of people who maybe were not able to come because there were hardly any choices so now every category of people will have so the choices will increase Uh, what does that mean for a developer in terms of sales cycle as well as price stuff i think as a developer we will have to sell fast we we'll have to complete the project fast because it's going to be complete what the concessions we took in 2021 my all projects are at an advanced stage of completion we we'll have to get it fast sell it fast and move to the next project should the uh, home buyers expect vulnerable projects i think they should be cautious of it. I see at least thirty percent projects getting not completed on time or getting dragged for whatever is. A lot of people are not able to get financial closures through banks or through whatever investor. So that is going to be helpful. I see that. So almost one third of the projects you think can get stalled in this wave that you see. If funding uh, crunch happens, should we watch out for the scenario where projects and projects will get stalled? Uh, But we will see a sort of a mini price war among a lot of projects, uh, not only amongst the top tier ones who have the applications, 
with the operating the road that for but in those environments where price plays the biggest decisive factor do you see that i think price uh, going got to be over something like this stress right or something type of happening i don't see that happening because either project to get closure price cut is not the solution because you just just going to cut the price by 10% that means tomorrow you're not going to sell all your flats or what if 15% you give a discount and sell tomorrow sell people will have only confidence when your structure is going to be seen so the builder will have to make his resources available to go beyond that people are ready to pay 10% more for a ready structure than under construction so you see uh, consolidation you see stress projects you don't see a uh, price war if i have to use actually this yeah and what happens to the top tier players do you think they become bigger and bigger yes definitely the listed players will become bigger and bigger because they have the advantage and they have the they get equity also they get funding and they will take more and more market share in the asset so bhushan uh, they spoke a lot about redevelopment uh, one part that is very important to redevelopment is uh, slum redevelopment slum it uh, 50% mumbai slum mein rehta hai slum redevelopment has got to be taken off aapne do project kiye slum redevelopment yes we completed two projects kya tha uska experience what are the learnings the learning with the slum is that they are easy to handle because your rules are very clear what to do but for a home buyer he thinks whether to buy in a slum redevelopment project or no whether i would be with them or no how is going to be the plan so we did a we did project where there was a dp road so we could segregate the cell building and the rehab bit with so because uh, people don't want to stay in that kind of environment so there are a lot of projects if they are able to segregate properly they get right otherwise just being the slum project it gets branded in a different way and it gets discounted in the market yes the segregation sabse important hai very ek home buyer ka ki jo building hai aur jo slum redevelopment ki jo building hai dono dono alag hone chahiye and trade segment yes okay that is key for a success of something what is the environment if you cannot do that because of what of planning regulation yes. or then you have to create such kind of product only when you create a three uh, like 300 square feet or 400 square feet where you will be able to match the community as such okay so there is no di- major difference there yeah. it is not it's okay. do you think it's fair for a home buyer to base sri policy i have written about it quite a few times say uh two things one is we are in a way incentivizing encroachment uh encroachment after the like is regularized then the subsidy goes on and on we have seen since so 1985 two is that we have minimum size limits for some uh rehab uh, projects but we don't have it for home buyers do you think it's unfair that's our policy in mumbai i think the policy is evolved a lot there's a lot of clarity uh, as a developer we have to as a community we have to see that we create a fair playing field about encroachment and all the these are all things which government has to take care we in our but as planning process as a developer of a city when we are looking at planning what are we creating so if we are if we want to at a healthy city we can not have a tall luxury tower and then there are people who uh, are facing that alter the tower and they don't they are dissatisfied and then we have to stay together in as a community so we have to balance it out i think that, that sr is trying to do but i, I think it's still long way i find it very unfair uh, i think one project symbolized for me in kathkopar where the size of the sale to the home buyer uh, apartment is smaller than the rehab so in so in a way a home buyer is subsidized subsidized slum dweller but the slum dweller is getting a bit of flat uh, so bhushan uh, this is the rapid fire round uh series of questions with ankit uh these have to be top candidate uh and give simple straightforward answer yeah the first word that comes to your mind when i say builder the big boss if you want a builder what other profession would you be in stock analyst or stock market i don't know the best real estate project in india according to you elf camel the best builder in india according to you in my city mumbai i think vikio vikas over there is like our the one quality needed for a builder to succeed in india patience the one small or mid level builder you think will become a player to watch out for in this decade there are many and i want many to be succeeding 
but uh, in western suburbs there is h rishabh raj the one underrated part of a project that a customer should keep in mind before making his purchase all that for using please they don't still go into it what the first word that comes to your mind when i mention these developments goddess properties brand opera reality community builder hiram dali township builder wisdom ji them boy and rail jump everybody knows right the architectural style that fascinates you the most the power you get on that style that has been so the most the one advantage of the internet uh, of things in infrastructure your site visits have reduced you can show them what sure everything can be done and at the end the customer can visit and close um okay on that note uh, pushan thank you for coming out thank you uh, thank you for inviting me it's been a great chat and all the best in your projects thank you mm-hmm.